Hey, this is Brian with Razorback Off-Road. Um, today we're going to be going over the install of the uh, Sherpa rack for the 21 and up uh, K&M Commander. All right, just to give an overview of the things we need for this job, we have our Commander basket, and then we have both of our side pieces. Moving forward, we have some specialty hardware we have, these brackets we'll use later, and then um, some backing plates. We have 12 core 20 bolts and 12 flange nuts for that size. We have six larger fender washers and then two smaller washers. Going forward, we have six of our 5 16 bolts. You're going to need a half inch, a 7 16 and a 3 8 wrench to complete this job. And I'm going to be using an impact just to make it a little bit faster in some of these areas. Um, we're going to start out by removing the side panels. What you're going to do is you're going to drop this tailgate Here's some Zeus uh, screws right here. We're gonna remove those. All you gotta do is twist those out, have those ready. Put those to the side and do your other side. All right, have those ready for later. And then all you gotta do is slide these panels off, just like that. We're gonna put those to the side. And repeat to the other side. All right, now that we have those panels removed, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pre-drill the holes for the mounting hardware. We're going to be drilling two spots. There are pre-made dimples from the manufacturer that we're going to be following with our first drill bit, which is a quarter inch. And then after that, we're going to step it up to one size larger than the 5 16 So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just be careful, there's some wiring um, down here, but you should be clear of it. There's a metal plate in here for um, extra strength when you're putting the uh, hardware on. So just be mindful of that. Nice to use like that. So now that we've done that, we're gonna grab one of our sides. I'm gonna grab this right side. We're gonna place, place it right there on the rail and slide it forward until this rear hole lines up with the hole we just drilled. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab the hardware we need for the side. So we're gonna grab one large fender washer, one 5 16 bolt, one small washer, and then a uh, 5 16 flange nut. Go ahead and grab our socket and a half inch, and then our half inch ratcheting wrench. So we're gonna put that larger fender washer on top and just feed it on through. And we're gonna start by just hand tightening this flange nut on the back. It's kind of a reach, um, but you should be able to get it up in there. It also helps to have very long hands. You're going to want to use the socket on the bottom because it's uh, recessed. Just want to keep your finger on top. All right. Nice and snug now, and now we can rotate that up after we do the other side. So I'm going to put that left side up there, just like last time. Grab another 5 16 bolt, large fender, small washer, and flange nut. It's gonna repeat that same process. All right, now that's tight. Go ahead and pull up tools down. Raise the tailgate. And the KM Commander is equipped with this little handle right here for um, lowering or um, excuse me, low, lowering the bed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's all right. The pieces will. Move a little bit, they're not gonna go anywhere. Next, we're gonna grab our backing plates, another 5 16 bolt and fender washer. You don't need a nut because you actually have a weld nut on the back of them. We're gonna go to this top one here, put that bolt through, and then we're gonna put our backing plate up 
with a weld, weld nut going through the bed. Just want to make sure we get it nice and tight to start out. You feel the resistance with the weld nut, and that way it's not going anywhere. All right, we're going to go ahead and repeat that process with the right side of the machine. I'm going to go ahead and use an impact, make it a little faster, but this can be done with hand tools. And repeat for the right side. You want these to be pretty tight. So next we're going to use this piece of hardware to mount the center part of the side. You're going to put your hand in with this and you're going to be able to drive the bolt through that. And it's actually inside the, the machine. And just get it hand tight so that piece of hardware doesn't fall down. All right, then we're going to repeat the process for the, the other side. And a little tip is that this piece can go all the way against that hard stop in the bed, and that way it goes straight in with the bolt. Kind of go ahead and grab our half inch socket and ratchet and tighten these guys down. You want these to be very tight. I'm going to go back and tighten these up now. Cool. Go ahead and put that away for now. Next, we can actually put the bed back up. We're gonna go ahead and put the basket in. So luckily I'm 6'5", so I can do this by myself, but if you are not 6'5", you might have to have someone help you with this. Just gonna slide that basket just in like that. Next, we just wanna make sure that all the holes line up with the basket and the sides. Looks like they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab six of the Core 20 flange bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this step tool behind the machine. You just wanna line up each bolt with a slot. And there are six on each side. And then got this one in the front to do as well. All right, go ahead, go ahead and move this step ladder over to the other side. We're gonna grab our other six bolts. You might have to space out the basket and the side, and then I'll ask for one. Now we can take all 12 of our flange nuts to get those started, and then we'll come back and hammer them home with the impact. You want to hold these bolts down while you start these nuts, that way it just doesn't slip on you. So now that we have those nuts all started, we're going to go ahead and grab our impact and our ratcheting wrench. So we're going to use a 3 8 on the impact and then a 7 16 wrench for the nuts. So we're actually going to start in this bottom flange here. We're going to do these three first, and then we're going to work our way from the back to the front.
you want these to be pretty tight. Repeat that for the other side. Okay. Those are all tightened down now. So the last thing we have to do is drop that tailgate again. Go ahead and put our Car panel back on. Make sure that overlaps there. Just slide forward. Go ahead and repeat for the other side. And grab the hardware that came with it. Put those guys back in. All right, that's gonna wrap up the installation of our KM Commander Sherpa Rack on 2021 to current. Thank you guys, and we'll see you out in the trail.